Hello, Ben. Uh, do you have, okay, can you hear me? My, my, um, yep. my uh, microphone was muted. We can hear you. Thanks. So other than your painting and the home housework that you're doing, what else have you done exciting this summer? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I didn't have any trips planned or anything, so nothing got canceled because I didn't have anything planned because we knew it was going to be house project summer. So. Okay. Well, you know what? That's uh, that's uh, probably something that a lot of folks are doing now is like, you know, delaying things that they would have otherwise gone to do. I didn't right. have anything to do. Um, and saying, okay, well, we'll just invest that time and that and that money into things for the house. Yeah, well, and we never planned on going away this summer because with my daughter playing soccer in South Dakota, uh -huh. and, and um, she was certain, it was kind of hinted she's probably gonna get a lot of play time, so we know we're gonna wanna go out there a lot. We, we need to plan to go out there in the fall a lot. So we're, we're not planning to go anywhere this summer for that reason. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. Because that's a trip we'll we'll still do. I mean, because they're still planning to go with their sports full steam ahead. Like nothing's been changed. So they just won't be playing to a crowd, right? Is that? I don't know. As of right now, things are a lot different out there. A lot different. They really? never even went into a stay home order there. Um, things are really open. I guess though that the public pool's not open there, which surprised me. But um, my daughter only lives two hours from there. My other one. And Jim's like, she's been coaching back at the Y for probably a month now. Um, it, it was just a very different atmosphere, but they had a lot less cases, like substantially less. So, awesome. so it's a little different out there. So yeah, I don't know. The nice thing is their conference for my daughter's soccer is all like that Western that area. side that way. Well, so hopefully that will help too. But yeah, we haven't heard anything if we're going to be able to go or not, but I, I'm hoping so. So Mary Hayes, can you see my screen okay? Yes, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah. I will call this meeting to order, but before I do that, that's when Kim, who is, Kim, I don't know what your title is. She's, she's the assistant to the city clerk, I guess. Deputy city clerk. That's what it is. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Deputy city clerk. Our city clerk is gone, so she's going to be swearing you in. And that all of you in, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna start the meeting, and it should be very quick. Sorry, Kim, I didn't know your title. Couldn't remember. Hello, I'm just testing out if you can hear me. Yes, can hear you fine. Thank you. Okay, thank you. This is Kyle O'Connor, by the way. Yes, I could tell. Thank you. Hey, Kyle. Hi, how are you? Excellent. How are you? Good. Unfortunately, I, got... I couldn't join in the, the video chat today. I'm away from home and don't really have a solid internet connection, but I'm here uh, calling in. All right. That's good enough. That works. We'll just have to trust you're raising your right hand when you're sworn in. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you at now, Kyle? I'm still in Adrian. Oh, all right, okay. Hello. We'll have to get together sometime. I'd love to see you. I haven't seen yeah, you. Yeah, that'd be fantastic. When was the last time I saw you? Were you still, was it high school, middle school? Oh, gosh, it's been a while. Yeah, probably middle school. Yeah, yeah. I talked to your mom the other day. I ran into her at Wesco, and, and uh, I always get my fill when I ask about you from your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Us moms like to brag about our kids. That's a, that's quite all right. At least I, I you know, I, I, I always ask about Kyle because uh, when Kyle, and we have a minute, so I'll just share. When Kyle was a young man, a very young man, like we're talking um, 2005 through 2010, 
there are things in my grocery aisles this guy would have memorized that I would not. And I'm the director here. When he would come shopping with his mom, it's like, yeah, I know where that's at. That's right over there. Wow, it's over here. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, about... a graphic memory, Mary. Yes. yes. Can I interrupt you guys just a second? I gotta yes. check Kim's sound. Yes, go ahead. Okay, Kim, go ahead and talk again. Not hearing her. Were you just talking? Yeah, we're not hearing you. Okay, Mayor, I'm gonna try and fix her real quick. That's fine. We'll be quiet. I'm sorry, you guys can go ahead. <laughs> well, I just wanna make sure Kim's can be heard. Yeah, I know, I'm gonna work on it real quick here for a minute. Cause I'm only seeing not seeing everybody on here yet, so. Okay, Mayor, I'm going to hook her up on my laptop real quick. Okay. And then, um, so give me like, just hopefully two minutes. Okay, I'll wait for you. I'll okay. wait, he's gotta be the first thing, so I'll wait for you to tell me. Okay. Hello, Hi, Candy. Hey, how are you? Good. Good. <laughs> Good to see you. We're waiting for anybody that's on listening. We're waiting. They're having some issues and we need to be able to hear our deputy city clerk. So they're trying to get the tech issues figured out really fast. Hi, Sheila. I see ya. Sheila, we've not started yet. We're having some tech issues at City Hall, so it'll be a couple minutes here, just to give you a heads up. Okay, Mayor, can you see me and hear me on this computer? I can see and hear you, correct. Okay. Give us like 30 seconds. I'm gonna hand this off to Kim. That's fine. I do not think I have Rochelle on here yet. Thank you. Oh, you can see me now. <laughs> yes, I am. Hi. Thank you, Michelle. Rochelle Carson, are you on here yet? You might be under a different name or a number. Someone else just joined, so maybe this is her. That might be her. Rochelle, did you just join Ricky?
I'm trying to be formal. She does not go by Rochelle. She goes by Ricky. Um, well, hopefully she's, she's on here somewhere. Um, am I okay to, to do the little spiel before we begin? Michelle, are we okay for me to do that before she swears them in, like just about Zoom bombing and all of that? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, I don't have the exact speech our city administrator always says before uh, meetings, but you know, in the case of a Zoom bombing incident, we will um, stop the meeting and get off and we'll just resume. It'll be the exact same link and we'll just start again. It did happen to our planning commission uh, about a month ago. So it has happened, but that's the only time it's happened, but that's what we will do if that were to happen. Um, this should be a quick meeting, so hopefully that will not happen. Um, I just want to thank everyone and, and welcome you um, to the ethics board. And sorry, because of the pandemic, we're finally just having this meeting. Um, but uh, we are going to be um, picking um, our, selecting our positions today. And that's, that's the purpose of this meeting. But I just want to remind you if you have any background noise just to stay muted unless, um, unless you need to speak. If there's no background noise, you can leave yours on. I usually leave mine on because it's quiet in here. It's up to you. Um, however, if you are not part of the ethics board, please stay muted during, all, during this time um, so that there is no feedback or anything coming through like that. Um, that's not the way Nathan says it, but I try. So, with that said, we're going to swear in all of the ethics board members. I will tell you that there is an oath of office that you need to sign officially. And I did email you and tell you that as soon as city hall opens, we'll have you come in and sign that and you get to keep, um, you'll get a little memento for that too, to show that you did take the oath of office, but we're gonna have you swear in virtually through Zoom. So Kim, take it away, our deputy city clerk. Okay, could you please um, raise your right hand? I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this state. And the Constitution of this state. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Ethics Board Members. The Office of Ethics Board Members. In and for the City of Adrian. In and for the City of Adrian. County of Lenaway. County of Lenaway. And State of Michigan. And State of Michigan. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my abilities. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I will now Call to order the meeting of the June 18th, 2020 City of Adrian Ethics Board. May I have a roll call, please? And you will have to unmute to let Kim hear you say that you're present. Board Member Carson. Board Member Mathis. Present. Board Member Negron? Here. Board Member O'Connor? Present. And Board Member Swartz? She, she's here. She's driving. I can see that she's driving. I don't know if you got that she's here. Okay. Oh, here. She's trying to unmute, I think. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Kim, did you get that board member Carson is here? Because I see her on here. I don't know if you heard okay. her. I did not. I'm sorry. So everybody, okay, all board members present? Yes. Okay. Okay, so what we will be, um, what I will be asking for is a motion to nominate someone for the positions. We're going to have a chair. The chair will serve on a panel if there is a possible ethics um, board, well, if there is a possible ethics uh, violation 
there is a panel that is the city attorney, the city administrator, and the chair. And uh, that, that group will meet. And then that's after they meet, it, that is where it's determined if it moves on to the ethics board. So that's what that chair, that's like their main duty besides running the ethics board meetings. The vice chair obviously acts in, um, is, is acting chair in the absence of the chair. We're also going to have a secretary for our ethics board uh, meetings. When, when we do have them, we are not setting meetings because this is a, uh, these meetings are only as needed. That um, in, in the absence, in the, in the case of the absence of the secretary, the vice chair will take, be the secretary as well. Okay, so just so everybody's clear. So may I have a nomination? Oh, I'm losing it today, sorry. May I have a motion? to nominate someone for the position of chair. So moved. What's the motion? Who's motioning for chair? Like, who do you want? Yes. Mm -hmm. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like self-nominating, really? <laughs> You can, you can self-nominate or you can nominate somebody else. I'll say that I'm interested in vice chair, but not chair. Okay. I'll so throw that out there. When we get, so somebody can nominate her when we get to vice chair. Okay. That was Cherise. Ricky, we can't oh. hear you. Uh, I think she's trying to figure out her volume. She's coming here. Oh, still can't hear her. <laughs> she said one second. Okay, one second. Ricky's having some tech difficulties. I don't know how, how uh, you know, Robert's rules you want to get mayor, but I was going to nominate, once I saw the, uh, the list and the biographies, I was going to nominate Sheila as the uh, uh, board chair. But the, <laughs> she would have to... <laughs> She would have to uh, want to accept that. Yes. I, okay. Would you accept that nomination, Sheila? Sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'd be more than happy to. Great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure what if Rick if Ricky has figured out her sound yet. Because I know she was trying to say something. I don't want to go on until I know. Hopefully she's not texting me because I have my phone on. Uh, okay. She actually, Michelle just told me that she's messaging. Uh, she said, uh, oh, Ricky had said she would be chair if no one was interested. <laughs> but we're okay there now. Okay, so. <laughs> Mayor, I just opened up the chat so that all of you can chat. Okay. Thank you. So she can use that. Thank you. I appreciate that. So um, I, have an, uh, I have a motion to nominate Sheila for the posi position of chair. Do I, can I have a second for that motion? Second, I second. Three seconds. Okay, roll call please. Board member Carson. So probably put it in the chat. Board member Mathis. Yes. Board, board member Negron. Yes. Board member O'Connor. Yes. Board member Schwartz. Yes. Uh, we'll wait. I, I'm waiting to see if she puts it in the chat here or not. Okay. We're waiting on your vote, Ricky. I don't know if you can hear us. Did you, sorry, were you able to hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you. Schwartz? Yes. We can hear you, Sheila. Okay, uh, it's in the chat, Kim. She said yes. Okay. So motion to approve um, Sheila as chair 
approved yep. by unanimous vote. Yep. Okay, moving on. Um, may I have a motion to nominate someone for the position of vice chair? Madam Mayor. Yes. I move to nominate board member Mathis as chair pro tem or vice chair, whatever wording is uh, more appropriate in this case. Thank you, Kyle. Support. Sheila. Yes, thank you. Roll call, please, Kim. Or is there any discussion? Before we move on, is there any discussion or anybody else that had another nomination? Okay, so roll call, please. We, it's for, it's, um, we had a motion by Kyle O'Connor to nominate Sharice Mathis for the position of vice chair with a second from Sheila Schwartz. Board Roll. member, oh, there. Sorry. sorry, go. Board member Mathis. Yes, I can vote for myself, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Board member Negron. Yes. Board member O'Connor. Yes. Board member Schwartz. Support. Yes. Board member Carson. She said yes, she's in the chat. Okay, thank you. Motion to approve um, Sharice as vice chair was approved by unanimous vote. Okay. May I have a motion to nominate someone for the position of secretary? I move to nominate uh, Ricky Carson as the secretary. <laughs> she made a face at me. <laughs> do you accept? Do you accept that nomination? She just wrote. She accepts. Yep. Thanks. Okay. All right. Um, are there any other nominations? Do I have a second for that motion for Rochelle Carson to be the secretary? Second. So I have a motion that was from Sharice Mathis. For Rochelle Carson to be the position of secretary for the ethics board with a second from Ben Negron. Roll call, please. Board member Negron? Yes. Board member O'Connor? Yes. Board member Schwartz? Yes. Board member Carson? She supports. Board member Mathis? Yes. Motion to approve board member Carson as secretary was approved by unanimous vote. Thank you. So um, our chair, Sheila Schwartz, you can ask for the uh, motion to adjourn at this point because it is now your yours to, to do. I'm no longer in charge of this meeting. Well, I think we should chat a little longer. No, okay, we can. <laughs> we can. <laughs> <laughs> um, just uh, are there any yes. other comments questions from the team I'm assuming um, as I understand it we're only called together um, when there's an issue and until then we just there's no meeting scheduled for right at all yes that's why we did not set any meetings at all for that reason because um, usually when you um, are swearing in and, and starting a commission or a board, you know, we have to set meetings, but this is at, 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 on an as needed basis. It's written in the ethics policy that way also. So we do not have any set meetings. So the only thing that I would be interested in, um, just because I don't know everybody on the call, is if there is an opportunity, if ever we were called to action, I think having a better understanding of the committee and dynamics right and knowing the individuals would be helpful if we ever got into a situation so i just throw that out it would be um, nice to at least have i know we have to have more of a formal meeting because of you know um, guidelines yet i just think that would be helpful so i just throw that out in 
And one thing you are allowed interest. And one thing you are allowed to do, and you're not violating the Open Meetings Act, is up to three of you can meet and discuss if you're going to be discussing anything city related or ethics board related at all. But up to three of you can meet. So if there were, if you wanted to, uh, if you as chair wanted to meet with with two of the other board members and on a different time meet with two of the other board members at the same time, that would be allowable. I also do that as mayor when I'm uh, wanting to meet with commissioners. I, I will meet with um, just two of them and then I will meet with the uh, with you know two of them and then I have to meet with one of them by themselves. But uh, that's, you know, I, I sometimes do that as well. So that's another way to do that without violating the Open Meetings Act. Uh, this is Ben. Did you was your question because I, I find value in, in, in your question? Was it so that we would just get to know one another and kind of our backgrounds, or specifically what would we do in the event of something? How, how did you mean to see if maybe we could get to know each other beforehand? I think I lost her. Before she answers, well, before she comes back on that, I will tell you, you are allowed to, like, I mean, obviously, you're going to see each other. I mean, I, you know, they might all come to Meyer at one point and see you, Ben, but um, <laughs> I you, hope can, so. <laughs> you can get, to, you just cannot discuss city business at all. So at if all. you were going to be discussing anything, um, you know, just your background, your families, you know, things like that, just to get to know each other better. That is allowed, but there can just be absolutely no discussion of city business. Got it. Okay. Thank you. That help answer that question? Yes, it did. Are there any other thoughts, questions? Kyle, I know you've been around a lot of meetings around the city for a long time. Do you have any thoughts too? Uh, not at this time. I just want to congratulate our newly selected uh, officers and look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. And I thought it was chair pro time myself, but um, our city attorney today thought the term should be vice chair because of uh, the fact that they're going to be dual. It's like a dual duty. Like they're, they're filling in if the secretary is not there. They're filling in if the chair is not there. Um, I don't know. Just the wording she wanted. She thought vice chair was better. So that is why I went with that. I wasn't actually sure of the wording myself till today. Just to answer your question, Kyle. Oh, no, you're fine. I was just going with within the email. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yes. I don't know what happened. Now um, you figured it out. <laughs> and I've only done 1,000 Zoom meetings, so I don't know what happened. And, and, and Ricky, you do not have to be taking notes from today because the deputy city clerk was, was doing that today. Okay. Kim, I do, because that's why she was asking for the roll call and doing it that way. Um, I can give you, um, like for when you guys are going to meet, we can kind of give you a breakdown of how to do that. But that's, she was fulfilling that duty today because we didn't have people in positions yet. Good. So when, when there's a situation and our chair has to meet with those other city members, do I need to be there to, to record that? Or yeah. do you have a city person that does that? That will not be recorded. Yes, correct. Okay, you are correct. It would be when the ethics board meets. Just our board. Yep. Okay. Your whole board. Just your board. Yep. So I apologize. I was going in and out. This is Sheila. Um, so just to be clear, we could all gather on a social basis with no correct. city business just to correct. get to know each other. Correct. Yes. Correct. correct. Okay. Great. So Sheila, you're hosting a barbecue when? I, I know, I was just thinking that. I know Sheila's already planning it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I, I do feel that this, this group is, uh, comes from a very um, nice variety from our city of different walks of life, um, different age groups um different professions um if you were to read through the ethics policy which i do encourage you to do again i know i sent it to you 
I can always resend it to you if you need it again. Uh, they, there were certain criteria that they wanted, you know, people from what, you know, a lot, a lot of diversity in, in professions, in age, in, um, in ethnicity, in, in every, they just wanted the most diverse group um, in all of those areas. And so um, I really feel like we've kind of covered all of those. Um, and I'm, I'm really excited to see this group and all work together. Hopefully you don't have to work much together because that's actually a better thing because it means we're not having any um, ethical issues that are going on. So, uh, but I, you know, I'm very excited. I know that a lot of you don't know each other, which is why I know Sheila is asking that. I'm well aware of that. Um, that, you know, that a lot of you don't know each other. And, and that was purposeful. I'm not going to lie. I did that on purpose too when I was choosing the ethics board because I didn't want you to have too great of relationships already with each other. Um, just, just to make sure that you were very fair and, 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 and working for that purpose for the city together and that you didn't already have too many connections outside of this. I know we're a small town, you're gonna to have some connection, but that was the reasoning for picking a, a wide group that, that possibly didn't even know each other, some of you. Okay, great. Well, I will lead on a summer non-business gathering so that if we are <laughs> ever called, that at least we have a more comfort zone of knowing each other on a personal basis, if that's okay. Thanks. Any other um, comments, input? Will we be uh, emailed the uh, minutes from this meeting? Yes. Um, Kim, when you email those to me, I will send that. Well, can you email them? I think you have everyone's email, Kim. If not, I do. I can send them to you. Or will Michelle send that on? It might be from coming from Michelle, actually. I'm not sure. But yes, we'll make sure. I don't know exactly what comes from. This meeting is also recorded, so when it's done, it'll be on the city's YouTube channel, and I can send you that link. Thank you, Michelle. Perfect. If there's no other business, I'll take a motion to dismiss. So moved. Support. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carries. Nice to meet everyone. Great meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. We, we appreciate the opportunity to serve, Angie. Thank you. Thank you. Sharice is beautiful. Yeah, she is. Bye, bye, Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. I love you. I miss you. Hi, Kaylee. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Thank you.